Hey guys, this is Jay. Now we're on to the power steering pump. Uh, similarly to the Redhead power steering gearbox, this is largely just a drop-in replacement pump. Um, there's a couple minor differences which I will show you once I get the stock pump up here side by side. Um, but the, uh, the main difference internally that PSC states about this one is that there is a larger ring and rotor inside this pump. So it will displace more fluid for uh, every revolution of the pump, which means that you get more power at a lower RPM. So one of the things that's common on these trucks is that you know you can have plenty of power assist for, for braking and steering when the vehicle's moving, but if you're sitting still and your foot is on the brakes, especially um, since the hydro boost is prioritized in the power steering circuit, it's not uncommon to lose power steering uh, assist. So this pump should help with that. Um, I have that effect a little bit after the truck has a lot of heat in it and therefore the power steering system has a lot of heat in it. Um, even though I really don't have oversized tires. Uh, one of my friends has some big American Force wheels on his truck um, and we're going to put the same pump on his. Um, so it, it, should, it should eliminate any issues that I have uh, with, with losing power assist at, at, uh, with my foot on the brakes and the vehicle stopped. Um, but I'm also hoping that it will eliminate those issues for him. Um, so of course I will get this on the truck and tell you how it works with me and then I hope to do a, uh, a friend feature video with his truck after we get these similar front end upgrades done to his. Alright, now that I have them side by side you can see just how similar they are. Um, the fronts are, are identical. They have all the same mounting holes and, and also on the back, the two studs and the high pressure out. Actually, really the only difference between the two is just the placement of this upper return line. Um, the factory one has it coming straight out the back, but this one has it kind of coming out the side. I don't think that's gonna cause any issues because this return line is a one piece rubber hose. Um, I will let you know for sure once I get it on the truck. Everything else I wanted to note here is in relation to removing the factory pump from the vehicle and also getting this pulley off. Um, first, the, uh, the, the pump on the front has this mounting plate that goes behind the pulley and it fits in these three holes right here. And there are three bolts on the front that run into the front of the cylinder head. Um, and then on the back, you have this plate which fits over these two studs right here and there is a nut on each one of them. And when my buddy and I were trying to take this off, uh, we couldn't see this nut down here, but we could see this one. And it was deceptive because we thought this was the only one holding it on. But it turns out what you should do to remove this is leave both of these nuts on. And there are actually two bolts on the side of this that run into the cylinder head. So don't take any of the nuts off until you have the pump out of the vehicle because you will not have access to this bottom one. It's actually recessed into the bracket and inaccessible. Um, on the other end, as far as pulling the, uh, the pulley off of it, as you can see by that slit down the middle of both of them, hopefully, um, we were unable to pull this off without doing it destructively. Um, we put a puller on it and we're starting to bend the uh, belt ribs and flanges of this pulley to try to get it off. We put heat to it. It wouldn't come off um, And even after we sliced it down the middle, it was still hard on the puller to get it off um, so Unfortunately with how this plate goes behind the pulley uh, Like this you do have to get that pulley off so you know do it as destructively as necessary to get it off um, but you you need to get it off to get this plate out for for remounting um, but fortunately my uh, my local AutoZone had this Dorman uh, replacement pulley it was it was like 90 bucks um, but it is what it is you know it's a nice nice uh, lathe part it's it's really solid so it is what it is 90 bucks gives me a nice piece of machine steel um, and it is kind of nice to put a new pulley on a new pump but yeah definitely avoid loosening the nuts and be aware that you do not have access to this nut until you have removed these two bolts out of the cylinder head and removed the pump from the truck. Um, but next, it's time to put it on the truck and show you how it works. All right, we've got the power steering pump on the truck 
and the difference that I mentioned previously where the uh, return line from the hydro boost is on the side it's a pretty significant difference from the factory as far as how that line goes on so I would really recommend you putting the hydro boost return line onto the power steering pump before you put the pump in the truck uh, having to push down on that line with the pump in the truck was actually bending the uh, hard line going into the reservoir and it was pretty scary <laughs> to put that hose on we were worried that we might break it if we had to push any harder um, and as far as priming the system it's pretty neat that the snout of the power steering pump has a hex key in it so if you have a battery powered ratchet and a 3 8 uh, hex you can actually put the ratchet into the pulley and and spin it without having to run the truck so if you do that while buddy's inside the truck turning the steering wheel and pressing the brakes you can circulate fluid throughout the system um, without having to run the engine and starting it and stopping it for a couple or three seconds at a time and not risk running the pump dry with the engine running either so it seems to work pretty well this fluid was right up to the brim whenever we started and it's dropped down about two inches so that should uh, should have gotten most of the air out of the system we're about to put the charge pipe back on and the belt back on so we can start the engine and get the rest of the system primed all right well we've got the pump installed on the truck and i wanted to show you guys just how easy it is to turn the steering wheel with this new pump installed uh the the steering is extremely tight i mean when i have this truck jacked up in the front it is very difficult even with the steering wheel to turn the wheels but as you can see here i've got one finger and I am turning the steering wheel. My feet are not on the brakes just yet. So this is one finger without the brakes. So let me turn it back to center. And now my foot is firmly pressed on the brakes. And it's, it's definitely harder, but once it gets closer to lock, it gets a little stiffer. But that is one finger power steering with my foot on the brakes. I'll do it one more time so you guys can see the wheels. My feet are still on the brakes. As you can see, I have no trouble turning the steering wheel, even with the brakes applied and the truck still. It is fantastic. Well, I hope that in-cab footage showed you just how powerful this new pump is. I mean, it, it truly has changed the way this truck steers. It is, it's so smooth and responsive because of this pump, and I have zero trouble turning the wheel. I mean, it is, it is always strong, and I've never had any situation where I have lost uh, even the slightest bit of, of power assist. I mean, as you saw there, when I when I was turning it with one finger, I was still able to do that, um, even whenever it was reaching the, the further parts of the steering where there's a little bit less uh, mechanical advantage in the system. And, and so whenever you're, you know, actually turning the steering wheel with, with all, your whole hand or even two hands, it's, it's not noticeable at all. I mean, it is, it is such a good upgrade for these trucks. Um, and, and yeah, I, I realize that these, these videos don't have a lot of action in them, but I am building up to the, the final video where I, I show just how much better this truck is uh, with a load applied. I'm, I'm going to uh, tow that skid steer again. That's about an 11 and a half thousand pound trailer. Um, and so I'll get, get all the filming of that and, and show you just how, how safe and, and settled and um, easy to drive this truck is, even with a really heavy load behind it. So we've got a couple more videos after this. The next one is gonna be the uh, power steering lines and then the Borgeson power steering shaft and then finally the, um, the Hydra Boost. I also have a really nice way safe uh, hitch that's rated for 12 and a half thousand pounds. So I may toss in a quick upgrade lowdown video on that before we get to the 
the final one with the skid steer. Um, but I really appreciate you guys staying tuned to these. And, and again, please let me know if you have any questions about any of these upgrades. Uh, you, you don't have to do the complete front end upgrade that I did to to receive significant benefits. You know, if if, if your steering gear or power steering pump are are worn out and need to be replaced, then then just doing those upgrades on their own is going to make a huge difference. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate you staying tuned to the channel. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And remember, if it's smoking, it's broken. <laughs>